Hello Cancers. So this reading is going to have multiple categories. I'm going to have a reading for those that's currently involved, those who are single, and also I'm going to do a, um, a finance reading for the rest of this month. So let's start with the general messages and I'm going to go to the involved Cancers. Okay. So Universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for Cancers for the rest of this month? Friends, give me a three card spread. Self esteem, empathy. Universe, give me one more card. And change and service. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you guys have been working on you. Okay. You guys have been mastering your personal development. Um, mastering self mastery okay like you you guys are really working on yourself you may feel like you feel the best that you ever felt for like a long time or this is this is just you feel like you really are evolving and getting to your fullest potential okay so I just see you guys are having good habits you're evolving for the best so let's look at the involved cancers let's see what's going on you a four card spread what's what's going on with cancers that that are involved with someone What's going on with cancer that's currently involved? Someone. Universe. Give me two more cards. What's going on with cancer who is involved with someone? Universe. What's going on with cancer who's involved with someone? Universe. Give me one more card. Okay. It doesn't look too bad. I just see, like, probably with the Eight of Swords. Probably. Cancers like to. You guys like when people spend quality time with you, but at the time you may feel like you kind of are losing your freedom. <laughs> okay, I feel like this is for cancers who have been single for a while, um, and you just got used to your own independence. So you may feel like this connection is great. Um, this is someone who's loyal. This is someone who's treating right. But you may feel like you can't, not really not really losing yourself, but you feel like you don't have as much freedom that you had before when you were single. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm seeing. Um, universe cut for the Eight of Swords. Judgment. Universe cut for judgment. The world. Also, I'm getting here too. While you're in a beautiful relationship, I do see someone from your past is wanting to get back with you. Um, this person probably have been messaging you. Universe cut for the world. Ten Pentacles. Universe cut for Ten Pentacles. Yeah, they have been messaging you. They don't care that you're in a relationship. They still have been trying to get in contact with you. Okay. I think that's why the Five of Swords is there too. Universe, clarify the Five of Swords. You guys got this, um, the Chariot, Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands. Yeah, Hermit, King of Swords. Yeah, so you have not talked to this past person, but this past person is wanting you to talk to them. Okay. They like to be messy. <laughs> so let's look at other spread. Let's see what's going on. Okay, universe, we have four cards spread. Oops, okay. So you guys have you always have a choice. I'm parallel and Sagittarius. Universe, give me three more cards. Hill. Universe give me two more cards. Hierophant. Then you guys have you always I mean you always you you're beginning to realize who you are. The cherry again. Tower sacrifices. The middle way line between obstacle strange gen energy. It's clear vision, you're right. Universe, universe, clarify, clear vision, you're right. Codependency and reverse, and my income's cost increasing. Okay, yeah. So this is talking about, like, you may feel like you want to do more stuff by yourself. Okay, probably this is someone who is taking care of you um, for the feminine cancer. And you just want to be more independent. You just want to have your own bag, too. <laughs> okay, so I feel like what I'm trying to say is just have that conversation with your person. And you can still do those things while you guys are together, okay? That's what I'm getting. 
But there is someone from your past that is trying to get your attention. This, this is someone who can't replace you. Um, they know that you are different from the rest and they regret how things went. They don't care that you are in a relationship, but you guys are not wanting this person. So let's look at the single cancer to see what's going on. Rebirth wants to show up. So that could be a Scorpio who's trying to come back. A Scorpio Taurus. Okay. Okay, Universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen for single cancers when it comes to their love life for the rest of this month? So there is a page of Pentacles in the verse, Six of Cups in the verse, a past person's coming back to you as well. The Devil in the verse, Ace of Swords in the verse. This is someone who's a liar. You can't trust them. Okay, Universe, give me two of my cards. Ooh, Three of Swords. Yeah, this person want you. They want to come back to you. And that look at that. The five swords came out again <laughs> in the same position. So yeah, you. so both groups, the ones that's involved in a good relationship and those who are single, you guys got an ex that's coming back, okay? A trifling ex is coming back, trying to see if you want to be back with them. This ex could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be a Capricorn as well, a Scorpio too. So let's see who's coming towards you guys. Hopefully he's picking up on another energy. I see some of you guys are going to be traveling to New York as well. Probably visiting New York. Probably you guys are originally from there. Okay, so Universe, give me a three card spread. Universe, give me a three card spread. Who's, who's coming towards seeing his cancers when it comes to their love life for the rest of this month? I got exactly three cards. High Priestess of Water, Queen of Cups, Honesty, and Loyalty. So an energy is love. Okay, so it's picking up on another energy for you guys. Universe, clarify love. High Priestess of Earth and the Moon. This person might have a Moon and Moon and Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Let me just close the door. So yeah, this person might have like a Moon and Taurus or Capricorn. Um, this is someone um, who is going to be kind of grounded. They probably don't really wear their heart on the sleeve, but they know how to be emotionally expressive. Okay. So I see you have a better options coming through. Unified you know, clarify honesty. Trap. Okay. So this, this, this is the past. They're going to still lie, but you do have a better option. Okay. This is someone who, again, uh, the other the other option that's better, it's someone who is more mature. Not not really the life of the party, okay? That's what I'm getting. Let's look at finances to see what's going on. Okay, so Unifrance, give me a four card spread. What's going on with cancer finances for... The rest of this month so it came out in a weird position horizontally i would say it's more facing the reverse okay they keep coming out in weird position this is more kind of facing like also upright universe give me two more cards i see you guys gonna get help okay so you guys been feeling like this has been a drought when it comes to your finances when it comes to money i feel like money is definitely going to be coming your way let me pick up this card. <laughs> yeah, money's going to be coming your way. Probably through a love interest. A prior love interest is going to be helping you out. Okay. So I see finances. You may feel like this is not where you want your finances to be. But I do see you getting some form of help. It's through a person, not necessarily an institution. And it could be a love interest. Or it could also be your mother as well. Like your mother probably helping you out. I'm seeing that as well. Okay. So universe, cover the lovers and the inference. Seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Yeah. So you're going to get help. Okay. 
Okay, more, most likely through a person rather than an institution. Okay. So, let's look here. Universe. Give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for cancers when it give give me a two card spread? What messages do you have for cancers when it comes to your finances for the rest of this month? Wealthy man. Yeah, see it's still a love interest. I, I see a love interest will help you out. An adjudication. And extent of wealth. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I see your person is gonna be helping you out. Um let's look at this stuff. See what else messages. Okay. Universe, give me a four card spread. Universe, what messages do you have for cancers when it comes to their career and finances for the rest of this month? Universe, give me two more cards. Universe, give me one more card. So Jenna Energy is ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Yep, don't get discouraged. Passion and pleasure shall I mean, savor your um, savor your life. So I feel like the universe wants you to do stuff that you're very passionate about. Okay, and when you are passionate about something, money just naturally come towards that direction because you will just do it for free. Like this is something that you love. Okay, um, crossing bridges, a time for healing, connecting, amending, and releasing in reverse. Okay, um, hmm. probably someone from your past is having some form of financial hardship and they're trying to come back. Okay, this doesn't necessarily need to be a romantic interest. This could also be a past friend, okay, a family member that you're not close to anymore. Grace and gratitude through gratitude, joy expands. Then grounding, go deep, explore your roots in the verse, and watching clouds so lie back and relax. Okay, so yeah, I feel like what I'm trying to say here is look at things half full instead of half empty when it comes to your finances. Um, the universe wants you to see how far you come. So even though you may feel like you haven't really made a 100% 180 when it comes to your finances, still appreciate how far you come. Appreciate the lessons as well, okay? And then there is work through your fears, um, New Moon and Scorpio. So when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your career, the universe do want you to do something that is going to require strength okay but it's something that you would love to do anyway so do it <laughs> okay it's gonna lead to your fortune it's gonna lead to making more money okay so that's the reading that i have for you cancers thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing if this video resonates you can definitely book a personal read with me at the tarot at gmail.com